Today we're talking with Dr. Dan Quinlan of the Fulton County Veterinary Clinic. Dr. Quinlan, what are my dog and cat's social and domestic needs? Um, we have went ahead and with our cats and dogs, we have domesticated them to really interact with us as human beings and our families socially. Therefore, when we go into the social, um, social aspect of this, we want to make sure that we get the right furry pet that is going to go ahead and kind of mesh with our lifestyle. Domestically, you can go ahead and bring them in the house. You can go ahead and take care of them as far as outside. As long as you go ahead and socially interact with your pets. Um, as far as dogs, they're more of a pack animal, so they want to go ahead and be part of our family. So that's where the social interaction comes between us as far as a family, rather than just going ahead and tossing them a bowl of food and water and walk away. You need to socially interact with them as far as talking to them, petting with them, doing things with them. That is how we go ahead and handle it as far as socially. So domestically, we can handle a lot of different animals as far as dogs and cats, and we can domesticate them for in the house or outdoors, whatever your preference is. Time to put your pet knowledge to the test. When is the best time to adopt a pet? A, at the holidays. B, in warmer seasons. C, any time is great. Or D, no time is ever ideal. The answer's coming up. Now back to Dr. Quinlan. Talking about moving an animal into the cold weather that we are probably going to go ahead and get hit with again this year, just like last year, where it was very, very miserable for humans and beasts as far as being out in it. If you're going to go ahead and move an animal, cat or dog, out into the outdoors that have been housed inside, you have to acclimate them over a longer period of time so they get used to being the way the weather is, the coldness, the dampness, um, being away from, you know, the, a heat source. So what we need to do, we need to take time and go ahead and slowly, slowly get them used to being outside. The other thing is that when we put our furry friends outside, we want to make darn sure that we've got some really, really adequate shelter for them to get into. Just not an old building or a barn that they can get into some place where they can go ahead and keep their heat as far as when they're laying down sleeping things like that so that's kind of a confined space as far as like an insulated dog house some sort of shelter that they can get into out of the wind and the weather also if we want to go ahead and put some heat supplementation in there that it is safely done as far as no electrical problems, things that the dogs can go ahead and chew up as far as wires, things like that if you're going to put a heat lamp in there. The other thing that is really, really important is we need to always keep fresh food in front of them along with water. And remember, with this cold weather, what happens to our water? It freezes. Well, they can't very well drink frozen water so we have to have something that we can go ahead and keep this fresh water from being frozen. So just remember, if you're going to move an animal out into the weather outside, has not been in it, acclimate them slowly. Get them used to the weather so they're used to going ahead and having these 20-25 degree nights like we're getting now rather than the 50, 60 degree nights like they have been used to or from being in the house. Um, so going ahead and saying that, yes, animals can be moved outside. They do very well. 
as long as we go ahead and give them the basic things that they need as far as shelter, food, and water. So, when is the best time to adopt a pet? If you guessed C, you're right. Dr. Quinlan explains. Any time, any month of the year is great for animals to be adopted. The only bad thing about it is if you adopt them at during the holidays, you're busy. You're busy with everything that you're doing. Are you going to be able to devote the time that you really need to devote to this one to go ahead and train them the way you want them done? Um, it got colder weather. It's a lot harder to go ahead and take them outside, you know, to go to the bathroom, things like that. Yeah, there's, as far as going ahead and having more problems during the holidays, no, but the weather may be a detriment to going ahead and adopting them at that time. But they can be adopted any month of the year. At our holidays, we love to give presents. We just plain love to give things. And what is the nicest thing that you think that you could give to somebody as far as a holiday present? A puppy or a kitty. But you have to think about this very, very closely. Does this person really want to have the responsibility of going ahead and taking care of a puppy? Do they want the responsibility of taking care of a kitty? Do they want a kitty in the house? Do they want a dog in the house? A dog that may fit your, your lifestyle may not fit theirs at all. You're going to, if you're young, you want a rambunctious, energetic dog. An older person, that's just too much for them. So they, So you have to go ahead and you have to fit the animal with the lifestyle of the person that is going ahead and having to take care of them and live with them. Because you have to remember, our pets are social animals. They want to be with us. They want us to take care of them. They want us to go ahead and take walks with them, play with them, interact with them. And there are certain ones that the people just physically are not able to go ahead and do that with them. So really the best thing to do is think about that before you give an animal as a Christmas present. Let them pick them out themselves. Let them go ahead and research the type of animal that they want, if they really want one. A lot of people do not want the responsibility because it is a tremendous commitment to go ahead and take on an animal because you're responsible for it. You have to take care of the health and well-being of this animal and it's just not going ahead and dumping down a bowl of food and some water. You have to take care of its health needs as far as vaccinations, deworming, taking care of it. Um, it's a very, very big responsibility, and a lot of people do not want that responsibility. So really, really think carefully about before you go ahead and give an animal to another person. The other thing is if you're thinking about adopting an animal for your own pleasure, research it. Look up the type of breed that you really want. Can you handle a German short hair pointer that is full of energy. If you can barely go ahead and get her out, any time that you go on vacation, you have to figure out, are you going to take him with you or are you going to have to leave him somewhere? It's all things you need to think about.